Hi, I'm Francis. I'm Serena. I'm Alejandro. And today we built for our final project for <laughs> EC4760 is a touchscreen controlled etch a sketch. We call it Touch a Sketch. So we have a resistive touchscreen, and that's connected into our PIC32, and that uh, maps the resistance coordinate to a uh, touchscreen, and we map that in number of steps that the stepper motor has to take. So the PIC32 outputs to the motor drivers that are connected to the two stepper motors that are attached to the knobs. And you, the and you attach them how? We attach them using Velcro. So Velcro, instead of using the, uh, the shaft couplers because they're different sizes, Velcro gives enough like flexibility for us to remove and at the same time drive the motor as well as the knobs together. Okay. Velcro is very convenient because we need to, whenever we restart we have to t remove it, shake it, mm -hmm. put it back on. So. It makes it very easy that way. And I see you have you have heat sinks made out of bent aluminum on top of the thing, <laughs> yes. which is very cool. So like, yeah, the these uh, heat sinks are just, well, I mean, these uh, motor drivers are basically just a, a, a transistor arrays that are actually, rank, the Darlington transistor arrays that are actually rated for half an amp, but we're driving a little more than that, like roughly 0.7 per motor when it's running, so we just put a little so it gets warm. So why don't you pull that thing apart, erase it. Let me let me just see what's on there right now. It was what we drew earlier. So there so yeah. there's so there's the that's what you drew on the touchpad and that is what is on the etch a sketch. Alright. And now take it apart and erase it. Put it back together. Oh, so you have where do you, oh, you zero in the I corner? I zero the board so that we know exactly where mm -hmm. the screen is starting from. So you know it's the lower left corner now. And then when you start drawing on the touch screen, like you start in the lower left corner as well. Uh -huh. So it knows exactly where it is. Got it. And we have a buffer, so when you start drawing, it takes a little bit of time for the motors to catch up to the, okay. what you're actually writing. And then we just add a piece of paper over the touch screen so you can actually see what you're doing. <laughs> All right. So, okay. He's good. And we have an artist, Alejandro, over here. <laughs> you're good to go. Power's on. Yep. So here we go. How big is your buffer? Uh, 2,000 points. <laughs> wow. A little seasonal. A little bit of a seasonal kind of picture yep. here, yeah. Keep on drawing. Let's use it as a trigger. Did you try printing all four? And now, and now that we changed the, uh, the board. The and when we, if we ever draw too quickly, and the motor, motors can't catch up, it just will discard anything new that you draw. I see. So the, it fails safely. Yes. Cool. It's one of the simpler drawings. Yep. Very nice. Well, it's a. Uh, want to talk a little bit about calibrating the motors? How you got that to work? So we tested it by. So the motors work by sending it steps, and like it rotates on the inside. So you have to send power to like each magnet, so it'll actually it'll turn the magnet. So we tested running. Um, the motors actually controlled in an ISR. Each ISR will take it to make it go a new step. So we calibrated it by running the motors or running them at different ISR speeds and seeing how many steps it took for one full revolution. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, we found out that um, at different speeds, it takes a different number of steps, so it's not consistent because there's some slipping going on. But we found out that based on time, 
um, the time works perfectly, so if we change the ISR count, then it'll like double perfectly or triple perfectly. So we used, um, we kind of based one axis off of time, so we calculated exactly how many steps it would have to go in the x-axis and kept that ISR the same speed the whole time, and the other ISR changes speed based on the slope, so by using a ratio we figured out what speed it would have to go mm -hmm. in order to like achieve the right line. Okay, cool. All right. Well, thank you. It's a very nice project.